Hello again, my name is Brother Sean and I'm the founding brother of the Teo community of St. Francis, an online lay monastic community that embrace Celtic Franciscan spirituality. In other words, we go right back to the beginning when the early Christians, the time of Columba and Patrick, they lived a very simple belief system without all the dogma and the ritual. But I want to share with you something to empower your heart, reawaken to the I am presence of God within you, that temple of the Holy Spirit. Many of us today are already living a spiritual life without all the props that one needs. But in our community of brothers and sisters of different faiths who've come together to share the richness of their faith traditions. And though I'm a Catholic Christian, I embrace all faiths because that is what St. Francis of Assisi, Assisi guided my heart to do when I visited his tomb in 2008 and that was endorsed by Jesus Christ. So we offer as a community an integrated spiritual ecology for soul seekers everywhere. And interestingly, those, four, those ecologies comprise mainly of four, four beautiful ecologies that are really simple, simple to embrace, simple to adopt to. The first, is an environmental ecology, living in harmony with creation and Mother Nature and the elements. You've heard St. Francis of Assisi say, Brother Sun and Sister Moon, he had a great respect for the earth. And the animal kingdom knew that they could trust him. He was a safe practitioner who radiated love, the love of the divine to the divine in that being. Our second ecology is a social ecology, embracing all people as brothers and sisters, regardless of their color, their race, their gender orientation, or even their disabilities. Our third ecology is a spiritual ecology, in praise of the Father Mother God as creator of all things. When I use the word Mother God, a lot of my peers in the Christian Catholic Church especially take umbrage with me and say, that's sacrilege saying God is Mother. But let's recap. If God created you and me, both male and female, in their image and likeness, what's that saying to you? Most of the world religions are male dominated. And the divine feminine energy has been compromised and that has created an imbalance of energy down through the centuries. The church obviously brought devotion into the mother of God to create a feminine but the divine feminine energy I'm talking about is that of Mary Magdalena, the lost bride in exile. Now I may have shocked you already but I believe that when we embrace God, we embrace both male and female energy, and why not? But we have to find that for ourselves on our own faith journey, and it's not my duty of care to you to convince you or to persuade you. Our final ecology from Christ and Francis of Assisi is an interfaith, an interspiritual ecology inviting all soul seekers of truth enter a new concept of living practical spirituality in the modern world, regardless of one's religious persuasions. And part of that invite from Jesus and Francis is to have 12 members, brothers and sisters, living at the Frank Clara Abbey of Peace and Compassion. It already exists in the ethos. But me, being impatient sometimes, I have to just wait and be still, for when the time is right, it will show itself. The benefactors will come with the land, the funding for the buildings for the 12 hermitages, and other small hermitages for those that wish to come on retreat. 
but it will be an eco-sustainable living community where we keep to the traditions of our seventh vow, which is providence. When we choose to embrace the sevenfold vows of peace as a lay monastic, one of the seven vows is providence. We do not apply as a community to statutory bodies for funding. We rely totally upon Father Mother God to meet our needs, not our wants. And the Frank Clara Abbey of Peace and Compassion will be a community who will depend totally upon God's providence, but they have to work for it through their arts and crafts, gardening, horticulture, running courses and retreats, an animal healing sanctuary for abandoned and sick animals. So it will be a whole new concept of inviting both sexes of different religions to come together to praise the one God. Yes, a God who has many names like Allah, Jehovah, Buddha, Source, the Supreme, and many others. Vishnu, Ganesh, Krishna. So, to recap again, our community of Franciscans embraces Celtic Franciscan spirituality underpinned by four powerful ecologies. An environmental ecology, a social ecology, a spiritual ecology, and an interfaith ecology. If you wish to find out more about the community, then the website address is www.taocommunity.com and we spell it T-A-U community.com all lowercase but for now I thank you from the bottom of my heart for listening to this very short video on an integrated spiritual ecology for soul seekers everywhere given to us by Francis of Assisi the 12th century mystic whom I believe was the founding father of these spiritual ecologies Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Exit Bonum, Om Shanti, Solo di Caritas, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace of our Father Mother God touch your heart to seek divine intimacy with an open heart and a non judgmental spirit. I look forward to your company again, and for now, God bless you.